you all on the uh, on that trail or were you on the dunes? No, sir. It's We got an unexpected chance to get up, get out, and do something when shelter-at-home restrictions were loosened up. So a group of us decided to meet in Port Isabel before heading to the South Padre Island East Cut. The plan was to do some fishing and come back that same day. One of our friends suggested we try driving to the beach through the bayside. I had heard about this route from other adventurers, so I decided to explore with a caveat of ending the journey if I encountered any obvious violations such as going over a dune, the possible destruction of flora and or fauna, creating a new trail or simply trespassing. Let me make it clear, I don't condone the violation of laws, but I also believe in individual freedom and accountability for our actions. I've never seen any YouTube videos of people taking this route, so I wanted to see what it was all about. I recorded the journey with my dash camera so you can see for yourself. We 
didn't encounter any no trespassing signs, we didn't go over any dunes, and we didn't create any new trails. We made it to the beach with no issues and without going through the Beach Access 6 booth. stopped by the beach to take some pictures and an unmarked Cameron County Constable unit approached us. He used his PA system to give us instructions. Drivers, get your licenses ready, he said. So we complied with his commands and listened to what he had to say. Hello, officer. How y'all doing? Ah, we're doing great. Are you all on, the, uh, on that trail or were you on the dunes? No, sir. Just came straight. I explained what had happened, and the constable appeared to be communicating with another officer via radio. It appeared as if the constable was consulting with a park ranger to see if any violations had been committed. The drivers in our group gathered to listen to what the officer had to say. The park ranger just confirmed that the road itself is Park Road 100. There is no, even though you can access it with the trucks, there is no actual access on the dunes. So you guys traveled through the dunes from one side to the other, making it uh, illegal. Yeah, because you were on the other side. So you, so, I mean, the path doesn't mean it's, yeah. it's a road. Uh, especially out here. So the dunes are protected. Yeah. State, not by, by us. You know, county. I, mean, honestly, I had no idea we weren't messing around. We just drove across. Like, we weren't like, trying to do anything like crazy. We were just fishing on the road all on here. There you go. So, thank God we had uh, our dash cams were rolling. And uh, Eric over here, he decided, he's like, you know what, guys? We're going to go. There's this uh, path. We don't go through the dunes. We're going to come across, hit the beach, but it's a different access. So, we decided to say, you know what? We're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and, um, and uh, uh, just go and follow you, Eric. So we did that. We didn't go through the dunes, thank God, but we did go through the trail. Technically, technically, going through that trail is, is still, that could get you a ticket, okay? Yeah, you're technically, I mean, you're, you're physically not getting on the dunes, but just the pure act that you are crossing from one side to the other and using even that trail that's an established trail, you could still get stopped, you could get a ticket. Thank goodness the officer, the constable, uh, just gave us a warning. He gave us a warning and said, hey, just don't do this again. So I wanted to take advantage of this time for those of you who still continue to do this or have done this in the past. Yeah, no going, not even through established trails. That's not gonna fly. So that's one to 
grow on. Who are you kidding? Lying might get you off the hook once in a while. When you're caught lying, it's awful. And if you lie all the time, people won't pay attention to what you say anymore. So why not tell the truth and face the music? It's hardly ever as bad as you think it's going to be. Okay, guys. Uh, however you guys want to do it, if you want to start moving, I'll just follow. So, guys, we're back at the East Cut. We're heading out there. Got to say thank you to Cameron County leadership uh, for, and of course, our state governor for trusting us and knowing that we don't need any babysitters in the state of Texas. You know, I think for the most part, you know, we, we, we want to abide by the laws. We want to do the right thing. Um, we're out here. We're trying to enjoy ourselves today. I got my daughter, Samantha. You've seen her from the videos and she's going to join me. What's our target? Our target was really just to get out and have some fun, but we really want to try to catch some fish today. I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, you see me with my walkie here. So there's a bunch of us that decided to come along and uh, to travel as a group like we like to do. And uh, we're going to do a little fishing, but we're also going to pick up uh, uh, some trash and uh, as always, trying to leave it better than how we found it. But for now, we're going to get up, get out, and do something. Okay guys, so this is what's going on. Uh, since I didn't have any bait, didn't buy any bait, and I thought I was just gonna come out here and since I'm so accustomed to just catching the mullet out here and I haven't had any luck. So we decided to switch it up, trying different things, experimenting here. Samantha tried popping some cork uh, and that didn't work out here. Uh, so now she's just gonna do a straight uh, soft plastic retrieval and I'm going to do a little bit of top water here and uh, see how that works out for us Well, the fishing pretty much sucked, but the company was pretty cool What's going on guys y'all made it out here? Yeah. Awesome. I see uh, you you got a, a different one. This one. I didn't know, you know about this one? Oh, this is wifey's Okay, okay. Yeah. Nice, nice. So I came out here with my daughter this time around with Samantha and some other guys that uh, that follow the channel, good friends, new friends that we've met. And uh, so I'm just happy, man. I forgot to buy any bait and I was overzealous and I brought my uh, casting net and I thought that I could just come out here and it was gonna be simple and it's gonna be a lot of bounty and I was gonna catch my own mullet, but nada. I got some bait though. You got some bait. You guys already found your, your spot? Because you're more than welcome to hang out here. I don't know, David, where you going? Yeah. I'm down to hang out here. We yeah, got I'm down to hang out here. Boom. Done. We took a break from fishing, and we decided to start picking up some of the trash that was left behind there. I just feel that every time we go out there, at least we, we obviously pick up after ourselves, but we want to do a little bit more than that. And uh, so we always take some extra trash bags and uh, we spend a little time, you know, doing our part. It's just a good thing to do. Okay guys, so if you're wondering, what have I been doing this last, uh, what is it? A little over a month now with this quarantine, this situation, pretty much, uh, you know, I was a good boy. I didn't go out anywhere. I did as our overlords dictated just kidding just kidding uh but i did uh, i did abide by the rules while i was there at home um thank god I, I didn't lose my job so i still continued working i was still doing that uh, but you know my son turned me on to uh red dead Re redemption 2 so i've been playing that and of course that plus snacks yeah the weight comes on so now i'm looking forward to shedding some pounds 
getting back <laughs> to where I'm supposed to be, man. Because, yeah, this, this, uh, this nonsense has to stop. This is not good for me. 12 seconds later. Oh my god. I prepared it, but all we have is avocado. Dude, I don't care, dude. This is. Oh, can I have the some? The knife's clean, yeah, but it's just a little bit of rusty. Okay, that's okay. Unfortunately, my microphone crapped out on me, but I had a great opportunity to meet a couple of uh, awesome people, subscribers to the channel, Rico and Jorge out of McAllen. Thank you so much. Thank you for dropping by, guys. I just want to give a shout out to these gentlemen. Uh, they've been loyal followers of the channel, and I really appreciate them dropping by. So, guys, we're heading back home. Man, I got to tell you, uh, yeah, we really missed the East Cut. We had a wonderful time with our friends. Uh, great experience out here. Just lovely, man. It was, Sammy, what did you think? Yeah, it was a really nice day out also. And honestly, the fact that we came here pretty much immediately after the stay at home order was done with. Um, it was just so refreshing and we always love to come here, but especially today, it was, it was special. We noticed so many people made it out here. That, that tells you, people, they're craving, <laughs> they're craving the outdoors. They're craving fishing and, and uh, spending time with family out at the beach. By the way, guys, thank you so much. Uh, for those of you who have been following me from the beginning, Thank you, thank you, thank you for their loyalty. And uh, for those for those of you who are new to the channel, thank you so much for putting up with, you know, my bad reporting and uh, some of my lackluster videos at times. But I am trying, we are trying, you know, but uh, I think things are gonna get better. Things are gonna get better in the future. Anyway, like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.